Hello students. In the last video we saw that Zan's house was completely burnt. How do you think Zan and her mother dealt with the ordeal? What do you think they did to cope with the loss? Let's watch this video and find out. Then came the most awful days of Zan's life. She went to school the next day wearing the same dress she had worn on Sunday. But her shoes had gotten burnt. She had no backpacks, no books, and she looked weird roaming around like a zombie. She didn't want to grow up if life was going to be that tough. The security she had felt till then disappeared. All she wanted was to die. One day she went back to where her house stood and was shocked to see everything in ashes. Resettling in a new place was difficult because all their credit cards, cash and identification cards were burnt. They had to borrow money from her grandparents for everything. In the following week, the debris was cleared out and she went there hoping to find her cat. She had been missing it terribly. Imagine yourself as a homeless person. Isn't it traumatic and depressing? What would you want to do to get back on your feet? Everyone at school knew her plight and she hated that kind of attention. One day at school, people behaved more strangely than usual. They asked her to hurry up to the gym. She hurried to the hall only to find a table full of shoes, clothes, books and goodies. It was like Christmas and she felt overwhelmed by all the love she received from the people she had never before spoken to. Days later, her house was rebuilt. This time, she had two new friends. It took a fire to push her to come out of her insecurity and open up to others. While they were still sitting there, a woman walked up to them from behind and asked Zan if the cat belonged to her. Zan could not believe her eyes. She took the cat into her arms and cried with joy. The cat too purred happily. It had run over a mile, frightened by the fire. Its caller had Zan's phone number. Unfortunately, the telephone was disconnected. The kind woman helped Zan reunite with her cat. She was filled with gratitude for all the companionship, kindness and love she received. She realized that having a home mattered more than having a house. What is the difference between a house and a home? Where can you find a home? Yes, a house is a building while a home is a place where a family stays emotionally bonded together. We can find a home where we find the love and affection of a family and learn that possessing good values is more important than material possessions. What lesson do you learn from the story?